Surprised? So this is Charabinda. I truly thought I'd never get here. So isolated, Janet. How do you stand it? Oh, thank you, darling. I expect you're surprised, huh? You could say that. I was going to send a telegram. And why didn't you? With one thing and another, I just didn't have time. How did you get here, Rosa? Oh, with the utmost difficulty. Now look at me. Bouncing around in a truck since I got off the plane at Port Hedman. It's hardly my idea of fun, really. So you came from Perth? Yes, that's right. How long have you been there? For quite a while. We thought you were in England. Oh, really? <laughs> Alec should have warned you. He knew. I what? You knew, darling, that I would join you eventually. That is not true, Rosa. I've come all this way. Why, if not to see you? Still, let's not argue over detail. It's been a long, hot trip, and I would like a shower, if that's possible. I'll show you your room. Oh, no, no. Don't go to any trouble, Janet. I can share with Alec. There are only single rooms. Sorry. She seems upset. Was it something I said? What the hell are you playing at, Rosa? Later, darling. We'll have a nice, friendly chat. This house really is quite large. You wouldn't think so from the outside. What she said about you knowing, was it true? Of course not. Then why did she come all this way? I don't know. I'll tell you one thing. She never meant to send that telegram. She just wanted to walk in here and shake the hell out of us. Well, she's done it, hasn't she? Now tell me what happened. You'll like this, Ferdy. It'll appeal to you. They put a drill down. Alec hired you a mill, French George. And they drilled up on the east side, on the hill overlooking the Golden Soap. And? They hit the reef. First off, brilliant. I'll admit that even if I don't like him. But, they forgot one thing. <laughs> Get on with it, Chris. They forgot that the land up there is leasehold. And the Garrities don't own the mineral rights. So I pegged the whole area. It's mine. Or rather, it's ours. Then why didn't you phone me from Marble Bar? Save the good news to tell you in person. We didn't hear from you. So Rosa started getting edgy. Her husband, up there, maybe finding himself a new gold reef. I could have stopped her if I'd known. You bloody idiot. Who is it? Me. It's not locked. I'll come back. Why? What's the problem? After all, we're still married, even if there appears to be some apartheid over the bedrooms. Why did you come here, Rosie? You always wanted me to come to Australia, didn't you? To which you told me it's the last place on earth you'd go. <laughs> Don't let me stop you putting some clothes on. Does it bother you? Not the way you intend. Oh, no? We may have had our rows, but we weren't a total mismatch. It was never more than sex. Since when did that go out of fashion? There must be some questions you want to ask me. Not particularly. For instance, two people back in England believe you're dead. Do they? Apparently. You could say I played my part rather well. 
But as they found your car in the sea and nobody, I dare say they haven't closed the file. And you're quite prepared to reopen it for them. Why should I? I'm a party to the conspiracy, aren't I? An accessory after the fact, or whatever that's called. No, Alec? You have nothing to fear from me. Then what do you want? Oh, you underestimate yourself, darling. I always found you attractive, and I came to the conclusion that I'd missed you. Janet, can I help? No, thanks. It's almost ready. Nothing fancy, I'm afraid. Please, don't go to any trouble. I haven't. Sweet kitchen. Sweet? Oh, yes, so natural. More sensible than modernizing. People in cities would spend a fortune to get a farmhouse look like this. Really? <laughs> and that wood stove looks formidable. How do you manage? We just put the wood in it and cook on it. <laughs> of course. Well, I'll leave you to it. Sure I can't help? No, thank you. Okay. Quite romantic. Candlelight. It saves fuel. You see the generator? Oh, how silly of me, of course. Could I have some more wine? Where's your father gone? We're not quite sure. He's away for a few days. By the time he gets back, he'll probably be gone. Oh, it seems discourteous of me not to wait, since we are distantly related, aren't we, Janet? You'll find there's not much to amuse you here, Rosa. Jan and I are going to be busy. Doing what in particular? Shifting cattle. We found water down at Kunawana. It's an old mine there. Golden Soak. And is that all you found? Just water? People actually live on it up here, Rosa. Oh. I'll get the sweets. Oh, thank you, Janet. It was very nice. So? You've been doing good works. No wonder you're popular. What else did you find at Golden Soak? I don't know what you mean. Oh, come on, Alec. If you're going to strike it rich, do you think you can dump me that easily? It's general knowledge. And you're test drilling for gold and antimony. Your information's 24 hours out of date. We were drilling, until someone else came along and pegged the claim. <laughs> Don't believe you. Bad luck, Rosa. Looks as if you came all this way for nothing.
Weren't you expecting me? I've been working things out. Have you? You must have seen Ferdy Kadak in Perth. So? It's the only way you could have known about Golden Soak. Kadak sent Chris Culpepper. Never mind all that, darling. I'm sorry, Rosa. No. Thanks for the offer. But no thank you. Now that's more like you. You've fallen for that little mouse. Now don't deny it. What else would keep you in a hole like this? You're talking about Janet. That's got damn all to do with anyone but her or me. Now, don't be too sure of that. How about some breakfast? Had mine. The sooner I start moving those cattle, the better. I was going to help, remember? There's no need. You look after Rosa. She's leaving. She's packing now. As soon as we've had something to eat, she's going. And you? I'll borrow the Uden dropper and another guy. I'll be back. Oh, Alec. For good, if that's okay with you. Oh, that's okay. That's one of the most okay things I've ever heard. <laughs> I thought so. Nice to have a second opinion. <laughs> So you'll go back to Perth? I expect so, yes. Then what? Then? I decide in my own good time. That was Janet with you. My mistake. My wife, Rosa. Felicity Clark. Oh. How do you do? Hello. Well, I better be getting along. Got to find Janet in a hurry. She's back at the house. What's wrong? Got a letter for her. From Ed. <laughs> Ordinary woman. But what are you doing? Sorry. Johnny? Any news of Dad? Some. Well, there are only rumours, mind you. Well, this drover came in and said he'd seen Ed's Land Rover out past Chingalong Mission Station. Where? Heading east, towards the stock roots. But, Johnny, there's nothing out there. Well, nothing except Lake Disappointment. The Gibson Desert. Ed left this with me. It's for you, love. He said it wasn't urgent. I believed him. But there's talk... I told him. Did you find Ed? No, but I... Oh, I'm Alec's wife. Don't mind me. How do you do? What the hell's happened? It's Ed. He's gone out into the Gibson Desert. I don't know what that letter says, but... It's where he's gone. 
They reckon he must have always known where that Copper Mountain is. You know, McElroy's monster. What else is there out there? Oh, forgive my ignorance, but who was McElroy? And what's this Copper Mountain? Dearest Janet, I never was one for putting pen to paper, but I want to try and make you understand why I've done this. It's our last chance to save Jarabinda. There's no longer any hope, as Alec knows, that gold and soap can be the Pandora's box we always dreamed of. So what I'm going to do is the only chance left for us now, the only hope left. Ask prophecy to forgive the deception. I needed 24 hours start, and please don't raise a search for me. If I can find what I'm looking for and get back, perhaps we can live to enjoy the benefits. If not, remember always that I loved you. That's what he meant. And he said he was the only one who could do anything now. That's what he was telling us. Yes. You can't just sit around and wait to see if he makes it back. You know I can't do that, don't you? We'd never find him. We can try. Look, never in a million years. Have you got any idea what it's like out there in the Gibson? That's why I need your four-wheel drive, Johnny. Jerry cans of water. I have to pick up extra fuel in Nadagan. And spare, what spare Land Rover parts you can find sitting around. A shovel, in case he has to dig himself out. Look, hang on, Prophecy. One thing at a time, all right? We want to make sure he gets back, don't we? Sorry. We're all a bit busy. It's no concern of mine. That no, seems not. Only this, the Hamsley range chart. But God knows it's not much use. It's from here on you'll need a proper map marking the water holes. So they're probably dried up by now. So he turned off here before Jigalong Mission. That's hardly even more than a track, so I've heard. But it's supposed to lead all the way to Lake Disappointment, which is over here somewhere. After that, Alec. I'll take this with me. Give me three days out and three back. There's no word then. Try and get an air search going. Hmm? Yeah. Ah, excuse me. Won't be a moment, Johnny. I'm coming with you. Johnny? There's no need. Two of us driving? I've got a lot of time to make up. I'll finish loading. I'll um, pack the extra food and water. Don't forget the job.
found something? Just a map. Oh. We'll be leaving soon. Oh, good. It can't be soon enough for me. I wouldn't believe the rumors. Head's gone down to Kalgoorlie. I'm headed the same way. Oh, yeah. What do I do? Wait by the road and hitchhike? You should be able to pick up a lift to Port Hedland. They're low in the pub if anyone's due. Thanks for everything. I'm sorry, Rosa. Oh, like hell you are. And don't expect me to lie if anyone asks me about Ed Garrity. They didn't believe you anyway. Look, there's no point in stirring up the situation. So you can find him first and be a hero? Or is it this Copper Mountain you're after? McIlroy's or McElroy's monster, or whatever they call it. That would be more your style, wouldn't it? Goodbye, Rosa. Well, that's the real truth, Alec, isn't it? I want to make a call, please, to Pearl. Well, just ring the exchange. Yes? There's a reverse charge call, Mr. Caddick, from a Mrs. Hamilton in Nullagine. Do I accept it? Of course. Put it through. Rosa. I have been waiting to hear from you. Are you all right? The short answer to that is no. I'll tell you in detail when I see you, if I see you. If? What does that mean? It means I'm damned if I'm hitchhiking. So if you want me back in Perth, you better make arrangements to get me there. I don't care how, but I do care when, Ferdy. I've had my fill of that great outback, so don't hang about. Thanks for the use of the phone. There it is. It's about uh, 200 miles to the lake. This track holds that. Well, with the two of us, we can drive all night. Yeah, you still got a big start. <laughs>
tracks disappeared. What? Just suddenly stopped. Wait a minute. He must have came to you. Well, probably a dust storm wiped out his tracks. They blow up very quick out here. We keep going till we find them again. Oh, come on, Annick, we've got to have a rest. It's getting hotter than hell. Just till we find the tracks. Use the compass, we go due east. Well, how do you know that? Hey, he could have gone north towards the stock routes. There's a thousand miles of desert and he could be in any one of them. He went east. There's another map. Where'd you get that? Back at the house. Look. Someone drew a circle. Here, near Winnicky Rock. Rubbed it out. Why? Ed Garrity? Was in his study. Pinned behind the other chart. You think it's McElroy's map? I don't know. There's only one way to find out. It's been the most humiliating two days of my life. You're all right now. We'll be back in Perth tonight, and then you can forget, Alex. Oh, no. I don't intend to do that. Birdie. Oh? Uh -huh. Have you ever heard of a man called McElroy? <laughs> McElroy's monster. Sure, I've heard of it. One of those crazy legends. Like last of this reef. And you don't believe in it? I wouldn't say that. But in 30 years, no one's ever found it. That story is all around that district. That Ed Garrity has always known. That after you pegged that reef above gold and salt, the only thing left was to go and claim the copper mountain. You can't pass it up, can we? No. Don't worry, I'll find them. That's what we are counting on. Take a bearing on Winnicky Rock.
Johnny. Yep. We can go back. Tomorrow we'll have to anyway. We can turn back now and nobody's gonna blame us or even know. We'd know. I'm a gambler like McElroy. Yeah, I believe in it. At least someone knows where we are. Yeah, but who? Circling. He must have found something. It's about eight to ten miles due east. Did you get that position? Yeah. Look, maybe we should report it. If he's broken down... No. Oh, Chris, they may not find him. You're paid to fly. I'll make the decisions. We'll be back, don't worry. No, no, you're bearing too far south. Bring around if you can. You're spot on it now. 103 degrees. Radiator is boiling. So before that's cool enough to fit a new one. We can't wait that long. But we've got to. Do you want to crack the block? The way that plane was circling, it might have been kept. Soon now, he'll start moving on again. Eight to ten miles, you said, wasn't it? We've already come eight. He can only be a mile or two ahead. You wait here. Fix the fan belt. In an hour, I'll find him. You're crazy. I'll find him or you'll find me. You're off your bloody head. Now shut up and listen. Once he starts moving again, we'll have to track him. We'll lose ground. I'll take the compass, you follow my tracks. Alec, for God's sake! I'll see you soon, Johnny.
How in the name of God did you get here? We busted a fan belt. About a mile over that hill. Johnny, he'll be here before dark. Did you send that plane after me? No. Then who did? I don't know. All right, Alec. We've got a lot to talk about, haven't we? Before that boy gets here. I suppose you know that. Not like the rumor said of Golden Smoke. I killed him out here. McElroy destroyed us. He tricked my father into a partnership. He bled us white. And he came out here looking for his monster. I followed him. Took me six days by camel following the tracks of that old Austin truck of his. You used the map. The one I found in your study, behind the Hammersmith Yard. So it was that. I should have burnt it. You didn't need a map this time. Because you've been here before. I buried him up there. Nobody knew until they found his truck six months later. I was back at Jerobinda. No one knew where I'd be. I'd got away with it. Do you know what it's like living a lie for 30 years? It's almost... a blessed relief to tell you that I shot him. I took this from his body. What's in it? Some notes an old Aborigine gave him. Directions that he wrote down. If that copper mountain exists, this might help to find it. So, McElroy never discovered it? How could he? He was dead. How could I find it without admitting that I'd killed him? That will be Johnny. If you don't mind, I'll turn it. Ed, you know what they're going to say? I know. They've been saying it for 30 years. The joke is, they were right all along. Thank God you found him. Yeah, we found him. Well, what'd he say? Nothing much. Well, if it isn't the law, are you gonna buy me a drink, Sergeant? Where's your friend Hamilton? Alex. Part of Kalgoorlie, as far as I know. Well, let's have the truth, prophecy. I've had word from Perth. There's a warrant on its way for Alec Hamilton's arrest.
he's dead. 